For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. I hope that that would speak loud and clear to all of us. That it's not our, God didn't call us to please men. That, that was never his intent for, for the call of any person. Was to say, now I want you to go out there and, and you please them. That wasn't what it was about. He's, and Paul said, now if I seek to please men, then I w would not be the servant of Christ. So can you do both at the same time? No. It's either one or the other. Now, let, let me do just a little reading and we'll look at it. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. Now, another a translation that said that, that its origin didn't come from man. That's not where it came from. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, now listen to this carefully. So the things that, that he's, you know, as many letters as Paul wrote, and we talk so much about Paul, and preachers talk so much about Paul, and of course, for all the letters he's written, and the revelation that he had. But he's telling us here that, that he didn't get that from man. Now, he also let it be known what his credentials was when it come to that. He said, I was equal above many of my brethren. He said that, and, and he had a greater zeal. His zeal was to the point that he, if he could have, if he could have, he, he would have destroyed the church. Well, he didn't know it was the church, but what he thought was, was an enemy to God, he was out to destroy it. Now, that's the kind of zeal and the kind of person that Paul was. And it had something to do with the, what he was going to do next when he did get on the right road. His zeal was just going to, going to be just as strong or stronger for God for doing the right thing instead of over here doing this. Amen. Amen. Now, a lot of people, you know, say a lot of things, but, but to actually go out and do them, they're not going to do them. Amen. But his credentials was that, hey, you see what I was doing. That's how much I believed in it. And I had a zeal zeal enough that, that that I would even have people put to death and be there while they were being put to death, you know. And he said, but now something's changed. Jesus came on the road to Damascus and he talked to him. And he realized what had happened. Now he said here in uh, verse 12, he said, for neither I received it of man, Neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, he said here that he's not even been taught it by man. Now, there's a, there's a big thing, you know, throughout all the church where we think that the whole thing is left up to somebody teaching us, some man teaching us. A lot of people follow that. But according to Paul, he said he didn't get it that way. He got it by revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, here's the thing. Of course, God's called us into the ministry. God's called many people. As we know, Brenda mentioned them a few moments ago, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, where God called them into the ministry. And he called them for a purpose, for this reason, he said, for this reason, that the, that the body of Christ could come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. And this was the reason we were called. God wanted us when we would speak to speak as oracles. Oracles. In other words, you can't be an oracle unless you say what God says. Oracle of God is, is to speak the words of God. What God would say. Now if, if, we, can't, if we can't get there and be there. 
If we're always going to just be preaching our own ideals all the time and this, old, this kind of stuff, that's all you'll ever have. But now we can preach the revelations that God gave us. Now we can't give them to people, but we can preach them. And only the Holy Spirit can give that to you. When you hear someone talking, a revelation that's come to him, light that's come, he can share that light, but only God can give it to you, and it's between you and him. Amen. I said amen. Amen. 